Okay, so... I probably have the charm now, because we found it. Obviously. At least I... That's what I... Um, that's the impression I got. But... <laughs> We still haven't. We still don't know where Sai is. Like the characters don't. Uh, it was all a misunderstanding, sort of, kind of, pretty much, and all of it could have been avoided. I. I <laughs> uh, and we have Sai's notes that over five years she has spent looking at the stars because she felt like, at least from her perspective, that she had to, or you know, like, or else we wouldn't like want to be around her or whatever. Uh, at least that's the impression I got. It's just all, it's all just coming up Millhouse. <laughs> and by Millhouse, I mean not Millhouse at all. Uh, <laughs> Hikari let out a long sigh after she finished reading Saya's notebook. <laughs> They're fuck like, five years is like no fucking joke, right? It's just, it's a l <laughs> I was looking at them as well and nodded. There were five years worth of night sketches. It was a colossal amount of data that had been gathered at least once a week when the weather had been good. It was the fruit of a tremendous amount of hard work. I checked the earliest date on the sketches. She started about half a year after you moved. That's about when we became estranged. We weren't talking to each other back then. Yeah, that was all, you know, maybe, like, the connection. <sighs> it was around that time that they had begun construction on the dam and had been relocating the people in Mikazuki Village. Did she like the stars so much that she began to draw them by herself? Saying that out loud made me realize how unrealistic it seemed. So why would she draw the stars? Moreover, what was the purpose of making all these recordings? I just couldn't understand her reasons. <laughs> Big ol' hmm right now. <laughs> I have no clue. Maybe because there wasn't a reason to. Maybe she just didn't want to tell us. Is that, is that, maybe that's... that's uh... <laughs> Hikari looked a little sad as she said this. Mm. <laughs> Every time Haru fucking shows up, I just have to giggle. <laughs> we were talking at the counter, and Miss Maharu came over and peeked over our shoulders. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> uh, yeah? Eh? Miss Maharu looked dubiously at the journals. Mm, no. <laughs> I don't know why these were recorded, but they might have been able to change. They 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 might be able to change Harbor Town's opinion. Hikari, <laughs> he's a staff worker. <laughs> he's not gonna. Oh my god, dude. He seemed like a nice person, but I felt like he might not be so reliable because he's a staff member. Staff members don't make the goddamn decisions, okay? And he didn't know anything about astronomy. Could he really make good use out of Saya's technical records? Uh, sure. I, if it'll help. Hmm. I don't like where this is headed already. <laughs> she looked as if she were starting to regret talking about it. Who is this friend? Do, do they know anything about astronomy? <laughs> For some reason, it's just old man champ. <laughs> uh... That'd be amazing. Not even gonna lie. <laughs> oh, yeah. So once we hand them over, it's done, so really. 
I just still feel uncomfortable about this. We took Saya's notebooks. And we didn't even, didn't even find her first. It's just like, whatever. <laughs> like, we know she's okay, but at the same time, it's just like, I'd feel more comfortable if I knew where she was. <laughs> no matter the cause, this was Saya's hard work, and we couldn't just give it over to someone without asking her permission first. Yeah, exactly. That too. Besides, we don't even know why she made these observations. How about, you know, we do the fucking smart thing and go ask Saya. Yes. <laughs> Fucking, fucking genius. <laughs> she was still going to school, so it might be possible. Then I got a message on my phone. Ooh, who is it? I was surprised when I saw the screen. Saya Amanagawa. What the? F Ooh, it's from Saya. Hey, 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 back those big tits up. I'm reading this. <laughs> Car leaned forward and peeked at my phone. Saya's words went right there on the screen. More. Whoa! Excuse me, woman? <sighs> Saya has been triggering me these like last five episodes. Hikari was looking at me, hoping for an answer. <sighs> I had no clue. I just knew that this was a farewell message. What? Saya, Saya, hold on. What? You can't. D oh, God, why am I time warping? <laughs> God damn it, we're back here. <sighs> Almost middle school. It was nearly the end of February. <sighs> she triggers me so much right now. It was nearly springtime, but the cold still felt like it was the middle of winter. The girls were camped around the heater as Saya and I were alone, not far from them. <laughs> I imagine, yeah, I imagine those two actually like this, their heads together. Just... <laughs> the boys were energetic. They were fighting with fake swords made of rolled up newspapers in the back of the room. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> that have at the fiend! Don't think you, you can beat me, you loser. Akito had been hanging out with Taichi quite a lot recently. I was watching them in the corner of my eye as I thought about how grade gra graduation was upon us. It was normal for children not to talk to each other for a while after a fight. I thought it was the same with Akito and me. But I would be moving right after graduation. If that happened, Akito and I would never be friends again. Oh, stop. Saya, Saya was fidgeting as she blushed. She grabbed my sleeve and dragged me behind the curtain. Oh. <laughs> so I got something to tell you? <laughs> yeah, there it is. The f legendary now years old letter. Oh, and it was her favorite envelope. And it was her cute, and it was her favorite cute little rabbit sticker. <laughs> but you only had the one rabbit sticker? <laughs> I looked past the curtain to the back of the classroom after I said that. <laughs> How about thee? <laughs> How's that, Taikachi? Oh, I'm gonna use my super ultimate move. <laughs> We're a bunch of nerds. <laughs> and Saya died. Saya grabbed her chest as if she were having a heart attack. <laughs> you, know, you know how shy Saya can be. Saya looked pale. She was beyond embarrassment. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Just her being like, 
I mean, it's not like you guys fought or anything like we did. <laughs> Straight just collapse on the spot after giving me the letter. People die from a lot of different things. You don't know, Hikari. <laughs> Saya said pathetically. With her face like that, it looked like she really might die. <laughs> Hey, there you go. Congrats. But then I'll think it was Akari later down the line. <laughs> Akito and I, I weren't speaking to each other, but that shouldn't stop me from being able to give him a letter. I had thought. Well, there you go. See, you're all set. <laughs> Saya was really cute, handing me her precious letter with tears of happiness. She was my dear friend and someone who I looked up to. And then... Oh, are we going to be doing this? I'm sure that if I had been born a cute girl like Saya, then I would be able to fall in love too. You are cute. You are an adorable girl, okay? You grow up to be a sexy woman, all right? <laughs> Holding on to those thoughts, I took the envelope with the rabbit sticker. But it took about a month for me to give it to give Akito the letter knowing that it was a love letter made it so much harder to, to deliver it wasn't just like delivering homework to a classmate who was sick it was a letter filled with feelings from one important friend to another in the end I only just managed to give him the letter as I was going home from graduation but all the time because I never told him who the letter was from Akito never knew that rabbit sticker had sealed that letter for the last four years. And it was open, and, every, and everything came up Millhouse, then it went downhill, and then... You can't just, you can't just end it like that, really, realistically here. Stargaze, what? <laughs> What's gotten into Saya? I immediately messaged Saya. But she still unmessaged me. The message had been marked as delivered, but I didn't know if she actually read the message or not. It would have said red at the end. There's a lot of things happening. <laughs> In a cheerful voice, Sakari smacked my back several times. Ow! You know, you're like really fucking strong for... <laughs> uh, yeah. I returned to my thoughts. I had the same th thing... I, I thought the same thing at first, as Hikari at first, but the more I thought about it, the more there was definitely something else going on here. Besides... Oh? Hello? Uh... How she always just looks sad nowadays? <laughs> It's like she's been pondering over something ever since the stargazing event. Which was before all that shit happened. I had realized something was up with Saya. But I had been either too busy or I had tried to put it off and I mi had missed it. Maybe that was the cause. If I had only really just listened to her. I looked at the starry sketches on the table. I thought I knew everything about Saya. But honestly, I really didn't know a single thing. Ooh, hits you right in the chest. We've been friends for so long. I wanted to know about her. But somehow, I'd never gotten to know her deeply. <coughs> oh, shit. He... Ooh, he only reacts when <laughs> you-know-who shows up. <coughs> oh, never mind. That's Corona. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he would have sounded way more crazy if it was Saya. I heard Kataro barking and thought that Saya had come to visit, but I was wrong. Worse. <laughs> I could see someone's shadow through the window. Get your corona, I swear to God. <laughs> Every time I say your goddamn name, I just think of the beer, the coronas. You know what I'm, you know? <laughs> hey, don't call him a filthy animal. He's, he's cleaner than you are. 
Oh my god, I have not seen his face like this before. You're damn fucking right, you're sorry. You you lick his boots. <laughs> Can we just grill K K Corona? I almost called her Kataru, god damn it. Oh. <laughs> Kari grabbed him by the head and he finally quieted down, just grabbed his head, just shut the fuck up. Okay. Release him. Attack her. <laughs> Dude, Corona, you are not a dog person, are you? <laughs> or at least this dog person. <laughs> Kataro, or Corona finally calmed down after Kakari forcefully dragged Kataro to his doghouse. Now well, this is rare, Corona. Uh-huh. Corona looked at us and instantly began to cry. Instantly began to cry. Corona noticed that Akari was sincerely worried and she held her held onto her tightly. <laughs> Alright. Uh it looked like it was hard for her to talk about it outside, so I had Miss Maharu handle the store as I brought uh, Hikari and Corona to my room. Here, have some warm cocoa. It's a little... It's, it's getting lukewarm at this point. Uh-huh. <laughs> Corona calmed down quite a bit after warming up with Coco. Alright. I feel like she wouldn't come to us because of that. He doesn't even seem like the type of guy anymore that would bully her. Like, too much. Corona was holding the cup of Coco with both hands as she shook her head. Sure seemed like she was had something to say, but still she was hesitating to tell us. Tell us about Saya, goddammit! And once I find out, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> Guaranteed. And she knows it, too. Look at her face. Look at this face. She fucking knows. Hikari was trying to act like a calm older s burp sister. Looking deep down and thought, Corona looked really miserable. Corona <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Can do. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. Look at our face, too. Uh, who, exactly? We had no idea who she was talking about. <laughs> She's just fucking done. She slammed the table in a show of dominance like there wasn't anyone else she could be talking about and we just stood there like fools Kari, can you like thwap her a few good times in the head Corona just gave a big nod Kari's mouth was wide open and I was laughing <laughs> we're just laughing uh, uh, <laughs> that's Saya for you we never thought that she would go to Corona's place but that had been just what we thought, so we hadn't even bothered to ask. And so Corona said yes on that day. Corona held her head in bewilderment. <laughs> uh, but Taichi didn't seem like he knew anything. Uh-huh. Uh, 
黙って静かにしてたと思ったら急に涙ぐむし。Saya is an actual wreck right now. もう、コロナじゃ手に負えないよ !Fucking slams her head on the table.Corona <laughs> clung to Hikari. よしよし、大変だったんだね。Honestly, we're really the only ones that can put up with Saya or deal with Saya. Because we know everything about her. Even though I don't know anything about her. So, did you know what you said? Brooding. Hey, I don't know. 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 I d アキト知ってる Oh, now it's gonna be like dot 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 dot. Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> a charm. Hmm. What is that? Oh. And so she lost it. <laughs> That charm had really looked important to her, but all, she also had been kind of embarrassed by it, so I, she had it hi hidden in her hand. I think I've seen her with something like that before, but I don't really much know much about it. That had been the first time I had learned about her charm. And just what kind of charm was it? Sai is getting real, uh, uh, what's the word? Like, like, lost in her own head, I guess. Oh, yes. Yeah? Him? Yes? Fireworks in the background? I remember the message that she just, just sent me. Was she trying to say that she couldn't see me without that charm? But what kind of connection did I have with the charm? Uh-huh. You might be right. That's what I would assume. Or, like, what its significance of what the charm actually is. Anyway, we know where Sai is now. Let's raid that house. We're gonna break in and just <laughs> go, go, go! I stopped Akari from standing up. First, let's just tell, let's tell Sai's mom. We could decide what to do after that. B okay, we gotta tell them her mom and then raid. <laughs> uh. Okay. Oh, psh. doesn't even matter anymore. Hikari <laughs> groaned as she looked at at the time on her phone. Yeah, you'd be fine. Be like, look, I have to do some for deal with my friend, okay? Hikari relaxed as we waited for the train outside the ticket gates. We had gone to tell Saya's mother where she was. Her mother said that as long as Saya was safe, that we didn't have to force her to go back home. Oh, nice mom. She looked at me as if to ask if that was okay with me. In her hands was the night sketches that Saya drew. Yeah, I'd, I'd appreciate that. We needed to ask Saya if it was okay to use her sketches to help negotiate with Harbortown, but Saya had said that she couldn't see, wouldn't see me because she had lost something important. Going to see her while knowing that would be disrespecting her wishes. I'm surprised that one thing that we found other than the notes wasn't uh, the charm. I don't know, but I'm sure that she wouldn't tell us even if I if we asked. So, Sai was an honest person, but when she'd start thinking about something, she just wouldn't let it go. Sai was just that kind of girl. But I think it has something to do with me, at least. I'll think about it. I decided that I wanted to learn about the hidden side of Saya, the side of Saya as a girl. And Akari looked down at the night sketches in her hand. The train's here. 
Go on, be careful. Goodbye. Good night. <laughs> Kari waved her hand and went through the ticket gates. Well then. <laughs> Back at the store, Mr. Maharu was manning the counter. Maybe I should walk Kataro first. Probably a good idea. Mr. Maharu looked bored with her chin in her hands. <laughs> it looked like she didn't want to be bothered, so I just waved my hand. Let's go, Kataru. Oh my god, he's ready. Kataro was wagging his tail crazily as I got his leash ready and took him for his night walk. And so we bumped into Saya. Well, Kataru? Ah, we're sniffing it out. I see. I got you. Sticking his nose in the bush, smelling around, Kataro looked up to me apologetically. Dude, he's a smart dog. Not here either, huh? Ah, Krona had said that they lost their charm around here. I was relying on Kataro's nose to find Saya's lost charm, but it didn't seem like it would be the, uh, that easy. It has Saya's scent. You know her. You love her. Oh. Yeah, see? Okay, I'm trusting you, buddy. Come on. <laughs> He'll be able to find it. You know, he, he's a good dog. Kataro would always smell every little thing during our normal walks. I tried looking around with a flashlight in places that Kataro couldn't reach, but we didn't find it. It'd be better looking to look in the daylight. Ah, God damn it. Oh, what the shit? Oh, hello? I tried to think about what kind of charm she had. It was probably the from the shrine behind the mountain. They had charms for things like good luck, safe travels, or safe childbirth. Safe childbirth? Hmm. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Saya's charm probably wasn't just one of the normal ones. It had to be more important than that. Maybe she got it from somebody. We had asked Saya's mom about it too, but she didn't really know either. I tried to remember if I gave it to her, but I don't remember ever, bu ever buying a charm before. Hmm. I don't really understand Saya's feelings at all. As a longtime friend and as her boyfriend. Well, we're not really dating anymore, are we? I wanted to cry. It, it, I wanted to cry. It was so pathetic. Feels real bad. Space Marines aren't helping us today. Oh shit! Next day, night. They're getting night time. It was four o'clock the next day. Hello. Oh. Corona. Corona. Saya got here and moved to the room. Hmm. Then, the operation. Thank you, Dark Lord. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are we doing? I'm counting on you. <laughs> Man, I need we need more screen time with Hanami. She's just she's silly. I left Hoshino, uh, Hoshino Daiichi and went towards Corona's house to see Saya. Oh god. For the last day I'd been wondering why Saya had been sketching the night sky. But the only reason I could come up with was that she liked the stars. Mm. If she liked the stars, then she would stop at stargazing. We had been friends forever, but I still couldn't understand what she was feeling. I was so impatient and frustrated that I didn't even get any, any sleep last night. To be honest, I was a little scared to go and see her. Feels bad. Why are you talking, Akari? This is between Aki and me. She. Oof. Oh, she was just mad. It's okay. Remembering what Saya had said made my legs tremble. I tried to hold myself together, but I started to cry. Damn! Yeah, we've been. Like longtime friends, we should be able to talk about this shit. I had been asking myself for that every day since then, but I still didn't know. But the answer to both those questions was in the same place. Hmm. I whispered to myself as I walked around. I hadn't been to Corona's house very often, but I knew every corner of Mikazuki. But now, the, all, with all that changed around here, it was like I was walking through a completely new town. There were street lights and new asphalt, pretty homes and stores. 
It was scenery that can be seen anywhere, but it was hard to tell the difference. Yeah. It had been four years since I had moved because of my dad's job. So I hadn't much of a chance to visit here. <laughs> See that shift? <laughs> These days, I traveled almost an hour to come here, almost every day. But I didn't travel those kinds of distances as a kid. As a kid, I don't think I had much of a concept of how far it was. The town that I lived in now was beyond the last station of the train line. As I had grown up, an hour commute became not such a big deal, but still it felt like the town had changed a lot. We hadn't always kept in touch during these four years, so there were some gaps between myself and Saya. She said that she and Akito didn't talk for a while too. No, we did not. The first date recorded was half a year after I'd moved. Oh, I stopped and thought. Just what did Saya think about during that time? Her friend had moved away, and she stopped talking to the boy that she liked. Did she move on and have fun with new friends? Or... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I stopped in my tracks as an unhappy looking boy walked out of the video rental shop. Take, what hey, Taikichi, what's up? <laughs> wow, rude much. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can't. You cannot play with a sprained fucking wrist. That is not, that's not something you can do, man. Still gotta keep the, keep, uh, you know, keep it up, keep your body up. I know uh, what had told me once that Taichi may not look serious, but he worked really hard when he be, uh, came to basketball. <laughs> he doesn't even and know anything. <laughs> Wait, what now? <laughs> ah, I like how she just straight up tells him. You know that fen friend that Corona's talking about all the time? <laughs> Got him. そんなに鈍感で神野さんとうまくやれてるの？ナルエちゃん、言葉がきついからちょっとくらい鈍感な方がいいんだって本人が言ってた。Naru's <laughs> yeah, kind of a bitch sometimes. <laughs> Like, actually, no lie. There were so many kind of relationships. <laughs> we were heading in the same direction, so it was natural that we walked there together. Mm. Oh, the music. Uh -huh. The awkward silence was killing me. Uh, ever since we were kids, yes. Pretty much the same as much as we were. <laughs> God damn it, Taikichi. Come on, man. あるかそんなの。Things were getting awkward, and I started to hesitate. <laughs> Look at this blushing face. Taikichi looked like I had said something very disgusting. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Taikichi looked forward as he began to talk with annoyance. Uh, oh my god, true hell. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I still wasn't fully aware of some deep of some feelings deep down in myself yet. But I knew that I didn't want to hear about this from either Akito or Saya. Was it jealousy? Yes. Or did, or did I just feel the need to fill the, in those four years that I were like a hole in my past? That's a card promise. <laughs> I looked at him seriously, and Taichi started talking like he felt obligated. I can still hear the sound of the planetary observation journal tearing to pieces, and it hurt. As if she was the like anchor. <laughs> I wasn't sure that was the reason Akito and Sai had stopped talking. When I handed over the love letter, I didn't tell Akito who it was from, or who, we, who it was from, so he didn't open it at all. Akito had never showed up to the meeting place, and Sai had thought that she had been dumped. We hadn't even gotten that far yet. I don't know about Akito, but that must have been the reason why Saya stopped talking to him. I thought it was strange that they got so close that she got even got the nickname Commuter Wife. Mm -hmm. I, I assume that's literally what happened. Taichi talked as if he was remembering a sunset from long ago. なんか気難しいじいさんだったらしいけど、アキトにとっちゃ唯一の肉親で家族だった。相当へこんでたよ。あいつ。それでも強がってたけどな。Taiji lowered his voice as he changed topics. When things got personal, Akito tended to hold things in and not ask for help. It must have been hard for his friends. Watching Akito be depressed and that be, but act like he was fine, not accepting any help. その頃だよ。またあの二人が話をするようになったのは。いつの間にか話すようになってて、よく一緒にいるのを見かけるようになった。最初はかなりぎこちない感じだったけどな。何がきっかけでまた話すようになったのかは知らねえけど、アキトの
Man, you need to just... I, I'm Agito's gonna come over. I mean, he's not, because you don't have... We don't, he's not coming, because you don't have the charm and disrespectful and all. Okay, Hikari, he, she's gonna hold you and be like, shh, shh, everything's gonna be okay. Shh, while petting her, you know, like the good old days. Shh. 